Most bankers aren't ready to help you until after their third cup of coffee. But with Central National Bank's after-hours service, you don't have to wait for the bank lobby to open to get help. You can contact us from 6 to 8.30 in the morning or from 5 to 10 in the evening, and we'll connect you to a real, live, local person who can answer questions and fix problems seven days a week. Bank different. Bank central. Central National Bank. Member FDIC. To Blah, Blah. King of the Hill Rewatch Podcast. I am Mike. And I'm Rusty. Rusty, it's Friday. It is Friday. A Time fun to get weird. Friday. Yeah, that, uh, that ain't right. That boy ain't right. Uh, uh, never that was, Friday never ain't will right. Be. Something yeah, like that. Fridays. Hey, we're going to do something special today. Okay. Uh, this is kind of to celebrate um, where we're at in the show. Also, to welcome Mason in uh, as our producer. Uh, he's been on several episodes at this point, but uh, I thought we'd have a little fun competition to kind of... Uh, do some bonding. This is a bonding exercise. This is a bonding exercise. Yeah, so get out your bondo. Uh, we are going to do a quick uh, King of the Hill contest between the two of you. Okay. I will be the uh, the game show host. You will be the game show contestants. Uh, you both have a buzzer. Uh, we that do I have a have, buzzer. I have fashioned these buzzers for you. Uh, they are uh, bespoke buzzers. There's only one like them in the world. Ooh. So, Rusty, Bespoke. go ahead and let's hear your buzzer. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> Mason, let's hear your buzzer. Okay. There we go. So, when you know an answer to one of these, I want you to buzz in and I will call on you and then I'll give you a point. Okay. So, okay. we're doing King super of the Hill simple, trivia. King of the Hill trivia. Some of this stuff right. super easy. Let's go for it. We ready to go? I'm ready to get annihilated. All let's right. Do it. Here, we go. here we go. Here we go. whooped worse since middle school. <laughs> Man, that's a that's a rough middle school. Yeah, uh, it was good. It was good. So here we go. Who said this? Okay. Why would anyone do drugs when they can just mow a lawn? Oh yeah, uh, I believe Rusty. Hank Hill. All right. So that's, that's one a Hank Hill for Rusty. Quote. Number two. What is Peggy's legal wedded name? Mason. Um. Margaret Platter Hill. <laughs> okay. It doesn't say Platter, but I'll give it to you because it is Margaret Hill. Yeah. Margaret Hill. There Good you go. Good job, Mason. All so, right, her, that's, so that's her name is Margaret. I didn't know yeah, that. That's one to one. It says, although most people know uh, the Hill matriarch is Peggy, she is legally named Margaret. Her middle name is unknown, except that it starts with a J. So, but Margaret Hill. All right. Number three. What is the name of Hank Hill's guitar? Mason. Crap. I, I, I want to say Beatrice. <laughs> no. Damn it. You got a chance to steal. Is it Bessie? It is Betsy. Good job. All right. Rusty two. Mason one. Number four. What is Cotton's infant's name? Uh, infant son's name? Mason. Good, Hank. All right, good Hank, or G.H. Cotton has there a new baby go. boy with his much younger second wife, Dee Dee. He named G.H., which stands for good Hank. Good Hank, because the original Hank is bad. We are all even <laughs> here, two to two. Two to two, we're neck and neck. Next question. In the season nine episode, Bobby on track, what is the nickname Bobby earns while on the track team? Wow, that one I don't know. You're, I'm going to Doughboy. Maybe. No, no chance. 
No, nope. anchor. Something? Both of you are wrong. It Damn. is the stick. Oh, the stick. Yeah, because he was the. After Bobby's yeah. joke of a performance in a charity run, Hank forces him to join the track team. Yep. So we're going to cross that one out. Still two to two, neck and two neck. Two to two. Okay, we're still neck and neck, Mason. All right, next. Hank, Dale, Bill, and Boomhauer drink in the alley quite a bit. What type of beer do they drink? Oh, yeah. Alamo Rusty. beer. All right, that was a pretty easy one. That was a give Sorry me. about that, Mason. Uh, next one. In Revenge of the Lutefisk. Who ended up being the man with the terrible smell? Bobby. Mason. Yes, you got there it. You go. It is Bobby. We are all tied up again. All right. What did Cotton and Dale steal from the museum? Mason. Uh, Santa Ana's leg. That's right. <laughs> yeah, Santa go. Ana's leg. Yeah. All right. Next one. Who is Hank's wife? Oh, yeah. Rusty. Oh, yeah. Peggy Hill. Peggy Hill. <laughs> Margaret all right, Hill. That's a rough one. Yeah, that's a real tough one. That is a real tough one. I'm getting all the give me's here. Right. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Well, speaking of give me's, here's another one. Okay. What state do the Hills live in? <laughs> yes, sir. They live in the state of Texas you in the fictional it, city of Arnold, which is between... Arnold? <laughs> Arnold. Oh, I'm going to take that back from you. I was going to oh say Darndle and Arnold at the same, <laughs> or at the same time. Man, you're going to get it rough on socials. Yeah, yeah. All right, next one. Who says this? Hank, you're living back in the days of black and white TVs and a dem- democratically elected Congress. I guess if I could get through. Ooh, Ooh, that was close. Rusty, I think I heard yours first. Uh, was that Dale? Yes, it okay. is Dale. Good job. Okay, next. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to leave the first part of this out because it's going to give it away. Okay. Uh, blank, blank. I quit being a virgin the first time I had sex. Mason. Luann? Yes, you got it. That would have given <laughs> yeah. it away because that the first one's just it away. watched that episode, actually. <laughs> yeah. The first ones are Uncle Hank. So, uh, Okay, yeah, that would have given it away. All right, next. What is Bobby's middle name? <laughs> Jeffrey. Rusty, you got it. It is Jeffrey. His name is Robert Jeffrey. Bobby's full name is Robert Jeffrey Hill. All right, next. Who was John Redcorn's daughter? Mason. I don't remember her name, but she's the daughter of a girl uh, Bill dates for a while. I'm looking for the name. Looking for the name. Oh, uh, well, you might as well go ahead and say the name because I don't have it either. Oh, it's Kate. Kate. In uh, Untitled Blake McCormick Project. I was going to say Kathy. We discovered that John Redcorn had cheated yeah. on Nancy with Charlene. Charlene. Known as yeah. Candy, and they had a daughter. All right. That okay. is a no-go. That's a no-go. All right, where are we at? Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for Rusty. One, two, three, four, five for Mason. Uh oh, Mason, go to pick it up. All right, here's your chance. What is Hank scared of in the garage when he and Bobby are building the boat? <sighs> Mason. Uh, the power saw? Nope. It's shot in the dark. Oh, come on. Neither one of you? No, I don't know this one. It is a bat. Hank is oh, terrified bat. of bats, and when he sees yeah. one in the garage, he leaves Bobby to fend for himself. One of the Which best episodes Which is a, f- a fun ever. fact. Uh, we're about 90 miles from one of the largest bat colonies in the state of Texas. Lots of bats in Austin underneath Lots that bridge. Yeah. They let them all out at the same time. Yeah, it's like the largest, I think it's like the largest bat colony in the United States, or this part of the United States. That is what we're known for. Lots of bats. Bad shit crazy. All right, here we go. Next, in After the Mold Rush, Peggy is reading a pamphlet called So You Got Mold. She finds out a celebrity had uh, she finds out a celebrity had his dog Muffin die from mold. Who was that celebrity? <laughs> Rusty. Uh was it uh oh man uh <laughs> Oh what the heck? Hold on. Five. I had it. Four. Uh, three. Two. Detroit Rockers wife? No. No. Mason, chance to steal. John Wayne? No, you're both wrong. I was going to say Ted Ed Nugent's McMahon. Wife. Oh, Ed McMahon. The pamphlet also says Aaron Brockovich had mold. I can't remember her name. I was going to say Ted Nugent's <laughs> I, I wife. I don't know who Ed McMahon is. <laughs> I, was trying to, I, was trying to, I was trying to have a joke, but it, it didn't work. All right, here we go. Here's an easy one, so y'all get ready. How many men does Cotton claim to have killed? I got that me. is Mason. Fitty. 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 Fitty, fitty, fitty. Yeah. Fitty so man. Mason. All right, he's pulling up. Yeah, he is. He's getting there. Finish this sp- sentence spoken by Bill Dotrieve. If everybody fried their food, 
What is the rest of that sentence? Oh, no. Everybody fried their food. Oh, yeah. The world would be a much better place. Mm, along close. Those lines. Yeah. You got a chance, Mason. If everybody fried their food. We'd all be much happier. Yeah, y'all are very close. Uh, there would be no war. Oh, there would be no there war. There would be no war. Okay. In mutual yeah. of Ombabo Hawa, Bill and Boomhauer try fried bananas at a fair and get inspired to fry just about everything. Yeah, that's a great episode. Have you ever seen that one, Mason, where they fry I everything? Think so, yeah. Yeah, that's funny. That's a funny one. All right, here's an easy one. So a chance to catch up, Mason, a chance to pull ahead, Rusty. Who calls Peggy Hank's wife? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think it. he got, got me. Cotton Hill. Cotton Hill. Cotton you Hill. got it, Mason. Good job. You got it. All right. Uh, who runs the concession stand at Arlen Speedway? Mason. Yeah, you got it. Uh, oh, I forget his name. Uh, his name is Jim. Right. So his first name is Jim, right? Yeah. yeah. Jim. Jim. Five. I'll even give you a four. hint. They made a video game. There's three, three of them. Two. One. I, I, I don't. There's Rusty three games Steel. in the series. Damn Witcher, it. Jimmy Witcher. Jimmy uh. Witcher. Rusty got it. You set it up for him, Mason. All right, here we go. No, I knew that one. I was very, very, that one. very, very easy one. What is Hank and Peggy's son's name? <laughs> <laughs> he, he hit it and dropped it at the same time. What's his name? Bobby Jeffrey Hill, yeah. Good job, Rusty. Mr. Robert right. Hill. There's got to be a few easy ones in here to keep you guys on your toes. All it's right, all next, that reaction time for those. <laughs> next one. What county do they live in? Mason. Heimlich County. Heimlich, Heimlich County. It's not a real county. Texas does have a King County and a Hill County. But uh, not a Heimlich. All right, so that's Mason. All right, here we go. The truth is like sunlight. People used to think it's good for you. Who said that? Oh, yeah. Rusty. I'm going to say it's a Dale quote. Nope, it no. is not. Mason, no, no chance Dale. to steal. I, I want to say it's from that... that that um columnist, but I don't remember his name. No, it is not. It is Nancy. Nancy, okay. Nancy is a weather lady, and so she says the truth is like sunlight. People used to think it's good for you. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, she did say that, yeah. All right, one more quote here. No coincidence, I like to hump, I like to eat, and I don't like to drive. That's going to be Cotton Hill? No, it is not. Oh, damn. Mason, chance to steal. Damn. Use your context clues. Can you say it one more time? Yeah, say it again. I didn't listen. I like to, to no, I no coincidence. I like to hump. I like to eat, and I don't like to drive. Damn. Bill? No, yeah. it is not. It Buck is Buck Strickland. Strickland. Yeah. yeah. Strickland. Well, that's the thing. I heard the quote, and all, all of a sudden, I thought of crude <laughs> as hell. I thought of cotton, and then that's my right. next guess would have right. been, right. been Buck. All right. So we are currently, let's see what we got. We got one, two, three, four. Uh, five, six, seven for Mason, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for Rusty. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed one for Mason. So it is eight to nine. Ooh, nail biter. Mason to Rusty. All right, let's take a small break, and we will be right back. All right, and we are back. Uh, we are currently sitting at eight points to nine points. Rusty is a uh, has a one point lead at this it's a point. Nail biter. Yeah, it's a nail biter. We're gonna get through a few more here, and then we're gonna crown a champion of this uh, this Friday episode. All right, here we go. How many biological siblings does Hank have? Yes, sir. Two from Mason. Good job. We have pulled. Wow. I was gonna. You know what? I would have got that wrong if I hit the button before you anyway, because I was gonna say one with Juni Chiro is the only one I was thinking of. I wasn't thinking about Good Hank. This one may be tough for you guys. I don't know. I did. I could not remember this when I read it, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's go for it. John Redcorn used to work as a roadie for which band? Mason. I don't know why. Why I did that? Um. (laughs) ZZ Top. No. I didn't know no, the Steve. answer. Uh, the, 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 the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Oysters or nope. something? I don't know what that it is. It is Winger. Oh, Winger. His vision quest told him that wrangling groupies for Winger was not his proper life path. <laughs> yeah. What <laughs> a way a to live quote. life. Yeah. All right, next. What does Nancy start to lose due to her breakup with John Redcorn? Her hair. Her hair. Good job, Mason. Her hair. 
All right, Mason has taken a one-point lead. It is 10 to 9. Uh, next, in perils of polling, Dale takes Hank to an outlet mall on polling day. What is the reason Hank tells Dale he needs his keys? Mason. Um, shit, never mind. <laughs> okay, Rusty. I do remember the episode. I don't remember yeah, that. I got you. Ask the question again. Uh, Dale takes Hank to an outlet mall on polling day. What is the reason Hank tells Dale he needs his keys? I don't know. This is a tough know. one. Yeah. He says he bought him a leather keychain. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's not not a great one. Yeah, but that, that's a great, that yeah. is a great one for trivia. All that's right. Here we go. We are still 10 to 9. Mason has taken a one-point lead. All right. Which of the characters listens to 80s metal music all the time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be John Redcorn. All He's right. listening to John White Red Snake, Corn. whatever. Yeah, he listens to it all. We are 10 to 10. All right, next one. At Buckley's funeral, Khan told a story about a guy being chased by a ferocious tiger. What did the man eat while hanging from the branch? A Mason. strawberry. Yes, a strawberry. Mm. 11 to 10. I was going to say a nanner. A nanner. <laughs> okay, next one. What was the name of the cult that Luann joined? Mm. Rusty. Sigma Phi or something no. like that? No. Mason. Uh, Project Graceland? No, you're uh, both wrong. It was Omega. Omega. Thinking Omega it was just yeah. yeah, thinking it was Omega just a sorority, house. Luann joined the Omega house where nobody ate very much. They sold jams and jellies and they called everyone Jane. Jane. Hello, All right. Jane. Love you, Jane. <laughs> we love you, Jane. We are still yeah. sitting That's at 10 to 10. 10 to 10. Mason has 10. Rusty has 10. I guess you could. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Mason has pulled ahead by yeah, one. Yeah, he pulled it's ahead. 11 to 10. It's 11 to 10, yeah. All right, next. What is the name of the song that Khan wrote for Bobby? Didn't even know he wrote one for him. That's well, that's a no, that's a really good <laughs> trivia. That's one of the things I don't remember about the show. Khan writes a song for Bobby. What's the name of the song? Wow. I'm all out of love with no one beside Anything? No, no nothing. nothing. No. Fat white lump. Oh, I knew okay. something with the word fat, fat in it. Fat white lump. Fat uh, white lump. Yeah. Okay. So we are still at 11 to 10. There's got to be some sort of penalty at some point for you all not answering these. Someone's going to be screaming at us. All right. Yes, yes. People are currently streaming at their favorite podcast player. Uh, all right, next. What is the Hills Dog's name? <laughs> Rusty. Ladybird. Ladybird. Rusty. So that is 11 to 11. He didn't say it right. He should get a penalty. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say it right? Ladybird. 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 Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Another easy one. What kind of fuel does Hank sell? <laughs> I think Rusty got it by nose. C3H8. God's gas, propane. All right, fantastic, Rusty. That was a little too much information. I'm actually going right, to get a tattoo that says C3H8 just, just for King of the Hill. All right, here we go. Who said this? My sloppy Joe is all sloppy and no Joe. <laughs> Rusty. Bobby Hill. Bobby Hill did say that. Oh, my gosh. We've got a clear leader at this point. It is 11 to 13. Rusty. Mason, got to pull up the lead. Or from the behind, I guess. I don't know. Uh, all right. Here is another quote. Tell me who said this. Soccer was invented by European ladies to keep them busy while their husbands did the cooking. <laughs> Mason. Thank you. Thank you. You got it. Uh, that's all great. Right. That's funny with the uh, current event that's going on TV. That's the, right. uh, the World that's Cup's right. on right now. So we are 12 to 13. Lost. Yeah. Well, I was, I was really surprised that the uh, the British American game went 0 0. I figured that would at least have one, at least be a one score game way to keep it evergreen guys yeah. uh all right here is your next question so are the susanusa phones chinese or japanese mason neither they're laotian neither you got it they are laotian, laotian. good job so it is 13 to 13 and the answers can be none of the above next who is the football coach at tom landry middle school Rusty. He had it. He had it. You can I see it in his too. eyes. Mason, what you got? Principal Skinner. <laughs> no, no, that's not him. Uh, this is the principal. I, I, his name has escaped me, though. Mm, Coach Kleehammer. Yeah, Coach Kleehammer. Coach Kleehammer. We are still in a nail-biter. It is 13 principal to 13. Moss. That's the principal's name. 
All right, next, here we go. We're going to get faster. In the episode, Trans Fascism, who is the driver of Sugarfoot's lunch truck? Mason. Oh, hold <laughs> oh my on. God. It's Buck. It's Buck. It's Buck. <laughs> what the Buck was? Is that you good? No, it is not Buck. It's no, not Buck. no, no, no. I don't know. I know who it is then. Who is it? Is it Debbie? No, it is not. It oh, is Hank. Oh, Hank. I, I okay. knew it was Hank. I don't know why I said Buck owns the truck. That's why. Oh, That's why okay. I got you. I really thought you were having a little bit of a breakdown in there for a second. I was. All right, here we go. In Lady and Gentrification, hipsters change the type of fish in the fish tacos. Infuriating Hank and Eureka, what kind of fish do hipsters put in the fish tacos? Uh, Mason. I'm sure it's uh, tilapia. No, it is not. Rusty, name a fish. Redfish. No, it is salmon. Salmon. To get all the hipsters to move out, all of the hill's friends act like they have just moved to the into the neighborhood. The hipsters did not want to live by the white hillbillies. All right, we are still thirteen to thirteen. Who was Bobby's first kiss? Mason. Uh, Connie. Good job. So he has taken the lead at fourteen to thirteen. Whew, what a rollicking thing we're doing here. All right, next one. How many children does John Redcorn have? Mm. Mason. Seven. No. Two. Two is the correct answer. He has two children, Joseph Gribble and Kate. Kate. Kate Moss. So we are currently at 14 to 14. Ooh. All right. How many more questions? Uh, a million. What was the name of the chorus Bill joined? He joins a mm. chorus of singers. What was the name of the, the group that Bill joined? Y'all are going to kick yourself when you hear this. Probably, yeah, because I don't know. I'm, I'm at a loss on that one myself. All right, Mason? I, have no, I know the episode. No the idea. Harmonaholics. Harmonaholics. Yeah, see, you both knew that as soon as I said it. 14 to 14. All right. We are going to do, I have, <laughs> I have over-prepared. Uh, there are 65 questions here. Yeah, let's we are at number 44. So we are going to go to 50 and we're going to call it. Okay. okay. Whoever's got the most at 50. If we have to go to 51, that will be the tiebreaker. Tiebreaker 51. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. Let's go. How many men has Luann slept with? Oh, yeah. Rusty. One. No. Mason. Give me a second. <laughs> Four. Oh, you're so close. It is five. I was going to say five. Buckley, five. Rad, Rad's ex, his ex-best friend, Zach, and Lucky. So she and slept Lucky. with five. They all got lucky. She slept with five. Number 45, what product was Hank selling before uh, working at Jeans West and Strickland Propane? Uh, even before Jeans West? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Rusty. Didn't he work at, uh, damn, <laughs> uh, I thought lemonade? it was just Jeans West. I Wait. didn't think he had another job besides Jeans West. Mason? Lemonade? lemonade? No, it was Tractors. Oh, this yeah. is mentioned in season six. He oh, sold yeah, That's why tractors. I don't remember it then, yeah, because that's, that's a season I haven't seen in a long time. All right. Uh, next, name the one, two, three, four... Wait, wait, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four people that Bill has dated. Rusty. Uh, dated or married to as well as Lenore. Dated. So Lenore's not in, tied into dated. that? Dated. Okay, so. You assume that he would have had to date her before he married her. Yeah, so Lenore is one. Uh, uh -huh. Governor Ann Richards is number two. Uh-huh. And number three was Super Newsom Phone's mom. So Laoma? Laoma. I, uh -huh. don't, I, don't, I don't remember her so name. So you said yeah. Laoma. Lenore. Ann Richards. And Lenore. Lenore. You said three, right? Is that right? Yeah. Now you're missing one. There are at least one missing. Oh, one missing. If yeah. I, if I get the one, do I get the point? Oh, I thought you said what three? Oh, uh, the fourth one? Yeah, the fourth. Well, there's the actually fourth one there's is actually five Charlene if you include Lenore. Is. So there's actually five. So I screwed this up. If y'all just go ahead and name it, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna count uh, this. Leanne's one. mom. So Luann, Charlene, yeah, Lou Laoma. Ann Richards, and then Lenore. Yeah. So yeah, those are the five. Yeah, I screwed that one up. I'm so sorry. That was no, a host good. problem. All right, next. 
through the series, Peggy worked as there is one, two, three, four, five, six jobs. She's worked at six jobs. Name the six jobs. That's the thing is, I can name some of them. I just can't name them all six. These are tough. They are. I can name. I can name a few. I There's just can't. I, I can't name ones. six. Do you want to name them? I'll name what I can name. Okay, go for uh, it. It's a column writer, substitute teacher of the year. Substitute teacher. Mm-hmm. So that's two. Realtor. Uh, realtor. Uh, mm-hmm. Wasn't she a nun? No, no she was a tutor. She, she was. was a, a she was a tutor. Yeah, she uh, tutored the Kalikiaka Lakalele kid. Oh, she was also. Um, she was also an actual journalist for a while. Yeah, she actually worked at the paper. They right. did. Uh, she was a part of the pyramid scheme. I am going to read these off. We're not going to count this one either. So uh, this is. I, I'm not big on these multiple choice things. So I, I like them. I like these ones. Substitute There's teacher, hard ones. gardener at okay. Tom Landry Middle School. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. She worked with Hank at Strickland Propane. Oh, I forgot to. I should have mentioned that. She yeah. was at the Arlen Bystander. I guess that really counts as two jobs. Yeah. Uh, she was with Chris Sizemore Realty. Yeah, realty. And then she was a salesperson for, for Metal Life. Scheme. Yep. Metal Life Metal Pyramid Life. Scheme. So we are not going to count that one. We are still at 14 to 14 if you're keeping score at home. We're, we're, almost, to the, we're almost to the point match, right? The match point. Yes, we're almost to the match point. Yeah. We have uh, three more questions, and that will find a champion. Oh, wow. If that does not, then 51 does it. It's stressing me out, man. <laughs> hey, we're good. That means just that we just know we know our show, man. Uh, man, I was going to say a quote this morning. I thought of it as I was putting my jeans in the dryer because I knew we were going to do this. Uh, this is, this is only an exhibition. It's not a competition, please. (laughs) No wagering. (laughs) Letterman. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right. Here we go. Real quick. The army injected bill with what? Mason. I believe it was, um, Dale believes it's like horse, like hormones, but it's actually, Mm -hmm. um, a balding, um, balding supplement. I think that is not right. That is not Rusty. true. So they thought it was some kind of government conspiracy that they were pumping him with, but it ended up being sugar water. It is uh, a placebo. It ended up just being you a placebo. Right. Yeah, they were just injecting it with placebo, so he was getting fat and bald because that's his <laughs> genetics. Yeah, because he's a fat and bald guy. All right, we are sitting at fourteen to fifteen. Rusty has taken a one point lead. Here is the next one. This is also a multiple choice. Um, I am going to skip this one. This is a uh, host choice here. I'm skipping over 49 and going to 52. Uh, Okay, so we're on 52. For anybody scoring at home, uh, not that you have my list. Uh, Did Cotton ever call Peggy by her name? Oh, yeah. Rusty. No. He did not. Oh, goodness. Uh, It is 14 to 16. Um, I'm sorry, Mason, but there's no way you can pull it out. Mathematically. Yeah, there is no way. So I'm going to ask well, you. that's just wrong. Like, <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> I, I'm not a sorry. father yet. I'm so sorry. That's right. That ended not with a bang, but a whimper. Uh, here, I'm going to ask two more questions, then we're going to be done with this. Dale is not fond of who? Mason. The government. Peggy. Oh, Peggy yeah. is the answer. Well, and, and the government. We'll let that go. Well, that's yeah. true, too. And then the last one, um, how many children did Cotton have? We were in, you already had that one. Oh, okay. You did that one. Well, he had three. So there you go. Wait. Yeah, you just recited. Yeah, three, yeah. right? Hank, yeah. good. Hank and Jer- Okay. Yeah, because you know how many siblings uh, Hank had. How many years of college did Peggy have? None. Two. Oh, community She went to college, college for Peggy, two years. Yeah. Community College Peggy. Where did, uh, this is a great one right here. I wish we had gotten to this one, and now we will. Where did Bill first meet Lenore? Sugarfoot. <laughs> oh, Mason. Oh, um, he might be right. I was going to say a strip club. No, it was a concert. Do we know what band? No, I don't remember. Foreigner? Nope. Mason, you got a, you got a, no. Molly Hatchet. A Molly, Molly Hatchet, Hatchet concert. Yeah, he met her at a Molly Hatchet concert. That's a red flag. If you yeah, meet a woman at a that's true. Molly Hatchet that concert, true. it's probably not the one you went to marry. <laughs> well, Rusty, you barely pulled it out. Mason, you did a fine job of uh, sticking right well, there with him. Well, you know, he is uh, he has pre- presented some tidbits of information as he we've does. been doing this has. that has really, like, it surpasses what I know. So but for this week, Mason, but for this week, Mason, you have to stay on that side of the glass. So... 
All right, that was fun. I enjoyed yeah, it. That was great. I like um, that. That was great. Yeah, we'll do that again sometime. Maybe maybe with, have a guest uh, or something on and yeah, let them yeah. challenge Mason. All right, Rusty, where can they find us if they want any more of this foolishness? If you want any more of this foolishness, you can find us at B-W-A-A-A-K-O-T-H. That's B-W-A-A-A-K-O-T-H on Instagram, TikTok, uh, Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, all those. (laughs) I had to remember which one's there for a second. Yeah, you can find me on all four of those. Also, uh, we're going to be releasing some episode content with uh, the real Rusty Shackelford, which is uh, just going to be hot Yeah, we were able to pin him down. Yeah. uh, Well, the thing is, Mike, uh, when you steal someone's identity... Sure. uh, When everyone is Rusty Shackelford, no one can be Rusty Shackelford. Yeah, true, exactly. There's uh, more than one rusty shackleford in the world you know there's more than one mike there's more than one me you know what i mean so there, there's there, more there, than one mike hamilton here in town yeah so yeah. If the real rusty real shackleford uh we've, we've we've reached him he happens to live uh not too far from uh yeah. where we're at actually right around here here in texas and uh mm-hmm. he happens to live in a uh, a small trailer on a piece of property that he, he does that he purchased yeah and uh right near where a Luby's used to be yeah yeah and uh a Luby's. Alu- 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 so Alu- 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 yeah uh and it's and it's out there between Ar- 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 arlen and uh Durndal, you know out that away a little bit sure and uh he uh you know he's he's got some hot takes on some some current events and stuff like that and he's gonna he's gonna come in and uh, record some stuff and that's fantastic put out a wednesday episode for you guys so you guys be looking out for that the way the wednesday episode is going to work though guys you'll get the first five free the first five episodes will air on all podcast platforms after the first five episodes have aired those five episodes will be taken away from being free and they will be put on our patreon we have not created the patreon yet because i have not created the content yet to uh released for the Wednesday episode. Yeah. But as soon as that content is created after five weeks of shows, you then it'll all be uploaded to Patreon. And from there on out, you'll have to catch it on Patreon. You'll be entered into uh, a drawing for a Patreon. We're giving away one full Patreon, one full Patreon. So uh, we'll get that set up and I'll get more information to you guys as well as our YouTube channel, which I'm also uh, in the process of engineering. The YouTube's. Uh, we're going to put all of our audio on YouTube Dear in God. preparation for our eventual launching of a, a video component to this show if uh, if and whenever we decide to do that. But I wanted, you know, I, I get a lot of questions from people um, that n- are not as technologically savvy as the next guy and they don't understand that the same app they use to listen to for music they could just pull the podcast up in that. They don't understand that. So everybody always is like, oh, well, it's easier if you just got the YouTube. It's easier if you got the YouTube link. So in an effort to make it easier for you guys, I'm going to slowly try to, I hope to have it all to where I could just hit January 1, boom, yeah. and it all launches. That would be very nice, yeah. On January 1, but it's a painstaking process. And I've only gotten like four episodes of 50 plus episodes. I want people to understand that this is the uploaded. show that's going to kill me. Uh, because at some point we'll be doing this five days a week. <laughs> it it might if it, yeah. I mean it might. It's 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 real fun. That's the thing is is uh, like with this Friday thing, it allows us to do things and develop the show into something that could survive. You know, sure. a- after the 12, 13 seasons of you know how long thirteen seasons of King of the Hill is going to take. Uh, I did the take, math on it. It's like six years. It'll take a lot. Yeah, it's like five or six years doing it yeah. the way we're doing it. Yeah. But even still, you know, it gives you guys but other that's okay. content besides yeah. just us talking about the show and talking the script and stuff like that. So great content, great scripts, uh, great fun. I've really enjoyed this some expansion. You guys did great. Going. Thank you again for playing along, and uh, let's hit your buzzers one more time on the way out. Fantastic. Wimitanye. Wimitanye, indeed. Mason, let's get a Wimitanye. Wimitanye. Bye, guys. Oh, that was great. <laughs> that Wimitanye <laughs> was perfect. <laughs> This has been a Rogue Media Podcast.